suburbs. Almost as much written about as Madison Avenue. And just as much in need of reflection. Life in the suburbs has its good moments and others not so good. Discouraged? Disgruntled? Heck no. They're glad to be here. There was a movement in the 50s and 60s to have people have their own piece of property, the suburbanization of America. In the mornings, Manhattan acts like a heart and draws in the workers from their homes in the surrounding areas. Then in the evening, the workers stream home again. We've kind of clustered our housing, and then we put our schools a few miles away. And then if you want to go shopping, go eight miles up the road in order to hit the mall that has 300 stores, not near any housing or office buildings. As we fled the cities in the 60s and 70s, creating th that generation slums, we're now fleeing certain suburban areas, and that's where the slums are evolving. Remember some of the slum areas of today were the suburban hopes of yesterday. Why not meet the challenge of a growing area by building a whole new city from scratch with parks and recreational areas, schools, churches, shopping centers, and broad curving streets for delightful residential living? Why not do it all right from the beginning?